Luke 21:34-35. Luka 21:34-35. I'll just read through a few scriptures to get to set us up. Nitasoma tu baadhi ya maandiko machache ili kuzindua. He says again Luke 21 verse 34 35 say be careful. Anasema Luka 21:34-35. Jihadarini. Or be careful all your hearts will be weighed down with carousing drunkenness and the anxieties of life jihadarini mioyo yenu isije ikalemewa na anasa ulevi na fadhaa za maisha haya and that day will close on you suddenly like a trap nayo siku ile ikawakuta ninyi bila kutazamia kama vile mtego unasavyo so in other words the lord is saying kwa hivyo kwa maneno mengine bwana yuasema that for those who don't believe in the prophecies of god those who take it lightly as the lord is speaking now kwamba wale ambao hawaamini katika unabii wa Bwana wale ambao wanaichukulia kirahisi Bwana anaponena sasa hivi those who take it lightly wale wanaichukulia tu kiurahisi when the lord is speaking right now wakati ambapo Bwana ananena sasa hivi he says that they will close in on you suddenly anasema kwamba siku hiyo itakupata ghafla binvu suddenly itakupata kighafla unexpectedly bila ya kutarajia like a trap kama mtego it will trap you itakunasa and you go down na utaenda chini that is the warning is giving here uh, he's laying gravity on the importance of paying attention to this hilo ndilo onyo ambalo anapeana hapa anaweka umuhimu wa kumakinikia haya that you may behold these promises of god the promised glory kwamba mkaweze kuzishika hizi hizi ahadi za utukufu that you may be able to be hold kwamba mkaweze kuzishika this tremendous promise of yahweh hizi ahadi za ajabu za yahweh whereby jesus himself wa mahali ambapo yesu mwenyewe spoke to me by voice october 18 akanena pamoja nami kwa sauti october 18 and sent me to you saying na, tell them na akanituma kwenu kusema mwambie that when the rapture takes place ya kwamba unyakuzi utakapotendeka they will have bodies like mine watakuwa na miili kama wangu and yet when you look at the body of christ now he has a glorious body na ile hali ukitazama mwili wa yesu sasa hivi ako na mwili uliotukuzwa so in other words he was saying tell them that they will have glorious bodies like mine kwa maneno mengine alikuwa anasema kwamba waambie watakuwa na miili ya utukufu kama wangu and he's promising glory there na naahidi utukufu pale in other words he's saying that he is coming kwa maneno mengine anasema kwamba anakuja because we know that that day does not take place unless the messiah come kwa sababu tunajua kwamba siku hiyo haiwezi katendeka ijapokuwa kwamba mesia amekuja so jesus sending me to the 10th international conference of pastors kwa, and the ministers of the gospel kwa, to tell the nations to tell the church that he is coming kwa hivyo Yesu ananituma katika kongamano la kumi la kimataifa la wachungaji na wahuduma wa injili kuambia kwamba anakuja because only when he comes kwa, kwa sababu ni wakati tu at, anapokuja can you be glorified unaweza kutukuzwa and verse 35 he says na mstari wa 35 anasema for it will come on all those who live on the face of the whole earth kwa maana itakuja kwa wale wote waishio katika uso wa dunia. So the Lord is saying that day is virtually inescapable. Kwa hivyo Bwana anasema kwamba siku hiyo haiwezi kuepukika. It will change the earth forever. Itabadilisha ulimwengu milele. Some of you those who will remain they will find that their love some loved ones have been taken. Baadhi ya wale ambao watabaki ni wapate kwamba wapendwa wao wamechukuliwa. So nobody can escape that day. Hakuna mtu atakayeweza kuepukana na hiyo siku. Many people will be going to police stations Wa to ask to report about their lost loved ones. Watu wengi watakuwa wanaenda katika vituo vya polisi kuripoti wapendwa wao ambao wamepotea. Many people will be running around looking at the clothes of their loved ones, the watches because they will leave everything here. Watu wengi watakuwa wanazunguka kuangalia mavazi na ile saa ya wapendwa wao kwa sababu zitaachwa hapa. It will be such a terrible day. Itakuwa siku ya kutisha mno. That will change the earth forever. Ambayo itabadilisha dunia milele. That's why it's important to listen. Na ndio sababu ni muhimu kusikiliza. And pay attention. Na kumakinika. That when that day comes. Kwamba siku hiyo itakapokuja. You be the blessed blessed ones I saw climbing up. Mkawe wale waliobarikiwa niliowaona wakipanda juu. 